Whew. Good things come to those who wait. We got another one here. Uh, yeah, we're going to look at the Air Force One Experimental N354 USPS. Very controversial shoe, to say the least. And I'll explain all of that as we get into this box. Let's go. So yeah, the Air Force One Experimentals were a very uh, interesting shoe. Uh, people took interest in it because they were different. They were covered in plastic. The first colorway that came out was this crazy pink thing. It looked like a chewed up piece of gum and some saran wrap. And people looked at it like, okay, it's sold out. And then they came out with other colorways. The black one, which, which did very well. I got those, I did a video on it. Actually the best video to date on the channel one that I'm, I'm surprised did that well because my ISPA videos are all good, but this one kind of just took off and it's still doing well. A lot of people getting it recommended, a lot of subs coming from there, so thank you all. This one right now, this USPS one, is different in the fact that there's two different versions of the experimentals. There's the matte finish plastic ones and then the shiny plastic ones. And the shiny plastic ones are way more absurd than the matte finish ones. So uh, they made a whole bunch of the matte finish ones, uh, maybe like four or five colorways, I think. And then they have a whole bunch of the clear plastic ones, which includes the USPS colorway. Now the USPS colorway is a little different. A lot of controversy around this one because of the lawsuit coming from the United States Postal Service. They got a little mad that Nike, who always cries foul when people make unauthorized copies or replicas of their shoes or or renditions of their shoes, uh, took their their priority mail postage label and turned it into a label in the back of the shoe and tried to sell it off as that. Now, I got the shoe here, got it off of StockX. I've been waiting for the shoe for a month. It took about two weeks for the StockX people to get it and it, and by the time they got it, they said it wasn't authentic. So I was like, damn it. And then I had to go back and repost the bid. I went a little higher than I wanted to because I really want to do a video on this and I didn't know when it was coming out at this time. So um, you'll see in our last podcast, I made a comment about it that, oh yeah, I'm gonna do a live cop. You, you can listen to it and, and you'll see that I put the bid in for it and then a day or a few hours later, I ended up getting the shoe. So that was approximately two weeks ago. And now it just came in. This one's straight from Hong Kong, straight from China, the factory. So I understand that these were probably gonna come out regardless, because now they settled their differences, the US Postal Service and Nike. So they are on good terms and they're going to, well, the shoe's already produced and the shoe's coming out. So aftermarket's been up and down on that. Uh, right when they announced that the shoe was going to be canceled the prices went up that's when i went in on it and then right when they said it was going to happen prices dipped but then went back up again which is interesting uh because i don't know how many of these are out there maybe you know maybe, maybe 20 30 thousand pairs maybe but now that there's hype behind it meaning you know first it was rare and not coming out and now it's coming out and it's got recognition people are gonna look for it so in the box, regular Air Force One box, nothing special to see there. Looking at the label one more time, Air Force One Experimental, got my size 12, oops. And we are in it to win it now, and here it is. That's one and two, so got these off of StockX, so you know, you worry about StockX authentication, um, so do I, but in most cases, look, I sell a lot of shoes via StockX and GOAT. I trust them enough uh, to pick out a bad Air Force One if they see it. And one of the reasons I know this is a good one is because of this. This sticker, this N N354 sticker, came with all of the experimentals that I got off of GOAT and StockX, and a fake wouldn't have the sticker in it. I think, I would hope it wouldn't. The box is super legit. And the shoe is constructed the way I'm used to seeing. The only difference is obviously the type of N54, N354 um, Air Force One this is. So, I told you the main difference is the matte finish ones don't have this Air Force One printing all over it. And these are covered in clear plastic. So now, mind you, I have, I've never seen the pink one, to be honest with you. So, I don't 
really know because I know like the sail and the black are matte finished and this is shiny and glossy and has Air Force One written all over it. The big sell here is obviously the Air Force One N354 on here using the US Postal Service styling on the label replacing US uh, Postal Service with Nike check and obviously the color blocking resembles the United States Postal Service. Uh, this is one of my favorite shoes of this year mainly because of the comfort level and the uniqueness of the shoe as a whole. Uh, the shoe is all padding at the end of the day. So you'll see here, you could, you could squeeze on this and it's all, all chunky padding and typical Air Force One bottom. I like this, this grayish bluish here. It's really nice. Um, inside here, it has the N354 uh, writing. And um, yeah, it's an it's a overall dope shoe. I really appreciate the level of craftsmanship they put into these N354s at the end of the day because this is a tough shoe to pull off my favorite part about it is the upside down nike air swoosh which i don't think people really appreciate that much uh but i bet you in a couple of years when they look back at this model and any of these n354s they're like oh damn those were dope and i always love these uh the last rendition the air force ones that they did back in 2019 are some of my favorites i have a couple of pairs of those but nah this this shoe overall man like i am not gonna front it is a sleeper model and this little controversy that went into this bad boy um, got me kind of hype and also I'm glad that I have it in hand first or I mean early at least I don't know who has this first but yeah United Postal Service thank you but you know hopefully everything goes well with this release and that's all I got for today so hit the subscribe button like share comment below give us a shout on the podcast let us know what you want to hear and see on the podcast because we have a lot of topics that we want to touch on yeah just just tell me what you what you're digging what you're not digging I love all the feedback I've been getting lately a lot of new subs a lot of people appreciating the level of content and everything and shout out to sneak this podcast for having me on y'all are great brothers uh Greg and George, go check them out. I'll have a link to our episode below uh, where I was featured and did very minuscule talk. I think the most talking I did was about Kyle Kuzma and his role on the Lakers. But otherwise, it was a great time just, just seeing that interaction, seeing those brothers work on a great podcast. Sneak this podcast. Go check them out. All right. Check y'all later. Peace. I'm legit about to up my bid on those USPS shoes again. I saw they, the price went down a little bit, but I'm like, they didn't say a release date. I'm no, mad. You know I knew, drop. No, but I know I have to shoot early to do a review and a, on foot. Uh, my best that video. Be a stupid was, price was, right now. What are they going for right now? No, the lowest price pair is four something. Actually, you know what? We're doing a live cop. <laughs> That's the way oh my God. Let's do a live cop. I'm going to share my screen, people. Turn it into these other YouTubers. Let's do it right now. Let's do a live cop. Let's share my screen. <laughs> live cop time. Live cop. All right. There's my screen. You see my screen? I see your screen. All right. I don't. I don't think this is recording anything, but I'm gonna do a live cop right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm in my StockX account. USPS. Let's go. There no, it is. No, no personal information pop up while you're trying to cop. They, uh, oh, I'll they blur it out. Oh, wait a minute. That, uh, last sale was 350 I have the highest bid right now, 296 Oh, no, wait. Somebody up? No, somebody one up me? Yeah. A penny? You son of a bitch. Now, we're not live streaming, so I don't care if this is in the video. Oh, yeah. You're going to edit it out. Or, yeah, I can or, edit it out. Or cover it up. Yeah, I cover it up credit card information and everything that's wild damn I, this how the hell man why did they sell me a fake one because when they said it's coming from japan or overseas i was like uh damn it you know it's, it's wild man oh by the way uh, uh we should start live streaming stuff that'll be cool yeah. no <laughs> four, we're gonna live four, stream. Oh, four on youtube you can do live streaming on youtube okay so the last pair sold for 350 today 506 a.m all right well we're gonna do a, a live bid people live bid 
<laughs> Live bid, three twenty-five. <laughs> Update. <laughs> Give me that shoe, bro. I hate. I hate when they do this. They, they they're so shysty. Pro- they show you the processing fee on the third screen. Three twenty-five. Let's go. Let's go. All right. That's all I have. I don't think you're gonna make no moves on three twenty-five. With the last sale it was three fifty. Well. I think that I moved I the market gotta, enough. I think you got to move at least 351 to really kind of get somebody's attention. Because if they just seen 350, I mean, what was it before that? There's nothing below 350. Five, 355. Yeah, there's nothing below 350. They're not going to move on that. But, I mean, yeah, you, can but you gotta look give at the it a bids. shot and see what happens. No, look at the bids. Look at the bids. See? There's nobody bidding that high. Yeah, there's nobody bidding that high. But I, if if I'm on the other end of that sale – and I just seen a shoe go for 350 and I look at the rest of the sales and nothing else is below 350. Like that's the, that's the watermark for me. Yeah. But that's not going to move. No. So that's, so that's, that's so that's where, when, so I'm, I'm a pro with this getting the best. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I'm a pro. Look at the numbers. There's 296. So you have 296, 240, mm-hmm. all of these, like the, the highest bid was 296 before I put 325. That's $30 more than four. Like, Someone who's selling for four or four, they got that. That this is some, some, uh, some, some backdoor whatever. The person got the shoe for maybe two, like under retail already, so they're making a, a ton of money off of it. So it's like, look at all these bids up. There's not a lot of bids on this. So this is this is this three twenty five, and there's no market. No, nah, it's it's gonna go. I'm telling you, I, I I'm just saying from my standpoint when I see pairs and I look at sales and whether I want to accept take a bid or not it depends on what the price market has changed and where it's been at Mm -hmm. um and right now if the last sale was 350 and the lowest ask is 404 Mm -hmm. and nothing else has been below 350 i'm not about to take it below 350 somebody's gonna come pay 350 349 or get me close at 340 you gotta get me close yeah but that's but we'll see we'll see but look, I'll so tell you right, that. Well, we'll be able to talk about this after the fact. If you get to hit for 325, then I Maybe. was wrong. Maybe. Then you I was been, wrong. You've been, you've been wrong before. Yeah, um, I have been. <laughs> there's, there's definitely that. I've definitely been wrong before. Well, look at these prices, though. All asks, 375. Why does this thing? Why does it say buy now for 404? See, it's a sketchy stock action. I mean, I think, I think it's delayed, though, too. There's some delay to what you see on the front. Oh screen. yeah, so they, you think people just lowered the prices now? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not paying that much money for that shoe, so you better let me buy now. <laughs> and look at all the sales. So look at the sales. Like, to check this out. Like the market, the market went up here. Like, look at these two fifty. This is where I remember I noticed the dip last week, and I was like, damn mm-hmm. it, I should have waited. Now I'm like, oh, I want it that bad. I don't care if it if they make a million of these shoes. I don't care. I want the shoe. So I'll definitely get my retail pair and for-